Today I'm going to show you how to replace a bad oxygen sensor on your car. Now in the case of this Toyota, the check engine light is on, and when I put a scan tool on it, it has the code P0051, which is oxygen sensor bank 2, sensor number 1. Now oxygen sensors are used to measure the exhaust gas, so the engine can put the right amount of fuel and air mixture so that the fuel burns perfectly. And in the case of this code, it says that the bank 2 sensor number 1 has a problem in its heating circuit. This sensor has a small heater built inside so it warms up faster and works quickly. And in these Toyotas, they have a tendency of burning out that circuit so you got to replace the whole sensor. So then of course the question arises, which is bank 2 sensor 1? Well here's how you tell. Now bank 1 is the side of the engine that has the number 1 spark plug in it, which is this side. So on this Toyota V8 engine, bank 2 is the passenger side. So now we look for sensor number 1. So we'll crawl under the truck to check it out. And in this case, sensor 1 is up here right by the exhaust manifold. It's the first sensor before the catalytic converter. Behind the catalytic converter, there's another sensor right here. That's sensor number 2. Now to get these sensors off, you need an oxygen sensor socket. This thing works great. It just goes on a cheater bar. Then you get plenty of leverage to pull it loose because they get on tight. Now the first thing you do is unclip the electrical connection so you can get the socket on. Then the socket goes on and you just uh, pull on it. Then it's loose and you just unscrew it with your bare hands. And there's the old one. We'll match it up with the new one. And when I say match it up, I mean match it up. This came with a factory nip and dent, so always replace it with the same brand. Because regardless of what some companies may say, if you don't use the original equipment brand, a lot of times the aftermarket ones won't mess with the software and the light will stay on. You'll have problems. So even though you might be tempted by a brand that costs less, don't take the chance. Use the original equipment company. And before you screw it on, get the little copper package that comes with it and put it on the threads. You need this so it seals correctly. Then just screw it in by hand back into the exhaust and finish the job by putting the socket on it and making it nice and snug. And of course finish the job by snapping the electrical connection back together. Then start her up and voila! No more check engine light. So the next time one of your oxygen sensors goes bad, why not fix it yourself? And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.